We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it for Wacky Fly Diaries. This is gonna get gross. Wacky Fly Diaries is gonna be gross. So you can hear it. Ah, there it is. We gotta tie a fly out of that. This is getting nasty. All right, let's see what we can tie out of this. Okay, everyone. We've got the human hair. Just happens to be my hair. On the hook for our weight, we've got a 6.3 millimeter sculpin head, 025 lead wire. Oh, on the hook, I'm sorry, there's a size 10. And so we're just going to take and give this a few wraps. And get that pushed in there real nice and tight. And I've just got some black UTC 70 denier. Start my thread. Just secure those lead wraps. If you've had COVID, I sympathize with you. I honestly felt like it was going to take me out. It was one of the hardest sicknesses I've had to deal with. Um, it didn't last a long time, but it was hard. I have had, like the, the hardest part I would say with COVID is, so the first night my fever was like 104.2 and I, honestly, I was feeling delirious, like I was gonna faint and everything, so. My wife took me to the urgent care and they tested and said, you got COVID, dude. And he gave me a steroid pack. And it, that was just, that was the 4th of July that I caught COVID. I caught it at an air show. And it's a couple months later and I'm finally back to feeling 100% with my hikes and stuff. But I still have problems with my taste and smell. It's, it's, it's no joke. So stay healthy. There was some creamsicle UV orange marabou. Don't want it too long so we don't get short strikes. And we're just going to tie that in right behind our lid. And I'm just going to go ahead and trim this, but I'm going to leave just a little bit. Good, I'll save this because I can make dubbing out of this. Look at that human hair, man. This fly will ride inverted. I want the light side down like the belly of a bait fish human hair and the stacker hair and I've stacked it so and so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna split the hair and my rule with the wacky fly diaries is that I have to use whatever gross material it is I decide I just have to incorporate it into the fly <laughs> I don't know about this man I'm just gonna trim the excess so I don't get too much bulk okay. now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap the thread around my finger like this to make a fairly long dubbing. I'm freestyling here, so go around it once. That closes up, closes it off. And I'm just gonna wrap my thread. And I've just got that loop. I got my little loon dubbing spinner. The shepherd's hook, I'm just gonna put that through the loop like so. And I'm just gonna let that hang for a minute. I've just got a Indian rooster saddle here. And I've got one rooster saddle feather. And I'm gonna strip some of the fluff off the back here. You can save that too, it makes really good dubbing. I have a video on mixing your own dubbing. And then I'm just gonna trim the stem, like so. And we're gonna tie in from the back because we want it to get we want it to taper narrower as it get toward as we get towards the front of the fly. So we're going to tie in our little our saddle here, and I'm just going to leave that there. And we're going to work our thread forward, back up, just right behind the head, and we'll just hang that over the cradle. And so next, I'm just going to grab some uh, brown eye stub. Pretty good chunk of this stuff. Okay, so we're gonna grab our dubbing loop here. It's still hooked on our shepherd's hook. And our dubbing spinner. We're gonna take some of this dubbing. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna dub 
one side of this thread. And then we're just going to give this a spin. Just spin it. See how it just cords that up. So then next, we're just going to start wrapping this forward. And then we'll just take and we'll tie it off. Get a couple wraps behind. Pull it back. Get some wraps in front. And then we'll just trim that off. Now we're going to grab our saddle. Palmer this forward. And I'm going to leave a decent sized gap. And we'll tie that off. Again, front and back. I want to trim any of those. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we could, we could stop right here and have a human hair woolly bugger. And it's going to fish good. But, no, no, no. Steve can't just have a simple little fly. This is part of Wacky Fly Diaries, where we use my human hair to tie a fly. So let's take it to the next level. Some of you guys are going to say what I do next is ruining the fly, but it gives it some character, like maybe like some animal character, like some Muppets character, like animal Muppets. <laughs> Keep watching. I'll take this brush here and just kind of brush this out. It's got a little dubbing brush, and I just want to get some of those copper fibers brushed out. Don't go yet. Don't go. Next on the menu is I've got 300 feet of angel hair. I found the best deal on this stuff. Friends, if you guys haven't seen my video of fly tying material hacks, you've got to watch this one. It is the best buy on anything that I found so far. This is literally like four feet long. We get 24 colors for super, super cheap. But we're gonna grab a chunk of this. It's kind of a pink coral. And I want it pretty prominent. Right here, we're gonna tie that in right behind the head. And then I'm gonna fold it back, tie that in. And I'm just gonna trim it at an, an angle, just to give it a little bit, kind of go just slowly move my way back so we got a couple longer strands just a little bit I'll put a little bit of UV resin on that when I'm done okay so now we're gonna flip the fly over and do the other side looks like kind of like uh who's the guy off of the Muppets that was crazy Mama. So it looks like, that's what this looks like right now Mama. you guys wait <laughs> we're getting there so we're gonna preen these back Watch that hook point. Grab your wife's hair clip. Next here I've got some uh, UV resin thick. And I'm just gonna... Okay, there it comes. It finally came out. Let's let that soak in just a little bit. Our UV flashlight. We'll hit that. Oh, whip finish. Then I'll do, I'm going to point the fly down, and I'm just going to squirt some UV resin into the head. And I'll just cure that, and then just remove the little hair clip here, take the little brush. Go, we got us a Crelex human hair streamer. Let me show you guys what it looks like with the UV light. Now with the light off. Look at that. That'll catch fish for sure. Nothing like good old water. And I just wanted to say, I forgot to do an outro, so thank you so much for all of, for everyone that's watching. I sincerely appreciate it. And I uh, hope you stay tuned because we got some gross 
uh, and some funny, weird, awkward things coming up that we're going to include in the Wacky Fly Diaries. So I hope you stay tuned and I hope you subscribe and hope everybody has a blessed evening, day, night, morning, whatever it is, wherever you're at in the world. This is Steve from Black Fly Creations signing out. Take care, everyone.